Hello Roji. First of all, let me congratulate you for cracking what is probably one of the toughest examination in the country. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> How was your life journey so far? Uh, so basically, I did my B.Tech in uh, NIT Calicut. Okay. So I completed my B.Tech in 2013. Uh -huh. And thereafter, I went on to work in a company called Deloitte for two years. And from there, uh, I resigned uh, in 2015. And then I came to Trivandrum uh, for preparations. So right from my last year in that college, I was planning to do civil services preparations. So I thought I'll have a backup option in, in, with industry experience. So I took uh, two years experience in the industry and then came to Trivandrum for preparations. Why did you choose Trivandrum as the idea for preparation? So my choice was uh, between actually uh, Delhi and Trivandrum. Okay. So I thought I contacted my seniors and I had some uh, friends also in Trivandrum. Uh -huh. So basically my friends in this uh, civil service preparation circle were centered in Trivandrum. So I thought I'll get the right guidance and, uh, and surely I got the right guidance as well. It sure is hard to crack the exam, but you achieved it in the first attempt itself. It is a very you know, rare attempt uh, to actually crack it in the first attempt. What could have helped you achieve this? Yeah, so basically I think uh, the major point was uh, the guidance that we get in the initial two or three months that enables us to understand what the process is all about. So in the initial two or three months, I was uh, exposed to the institutes of uh, ILEARN and uh, the classes by Nikhil sir in geography. So basically I understood that uh, there is much emphasis on answer writing there is, and we need to do the mains preparation first and then concentrate on prelims. So that understanding of the process in the initial time of my preparation was very crucial. So throughout that uh, I just kept on uh, going with the process actually. Then after I joined for optional classes and uh, that was uh, going in parallel with my prelims preparation also but more emphasis on uh, main strategies. So answer writing was being developed uh, in the uh, sidelines. And also I took uh, mains classes in uh, GS and also optionals. So parallel uh, preparation of mains and prelims was the uh, key strategy. And as and when we approached the examination, uh, dates were approaching, we started, uh, I started doing a test series with ILEARN. Mm -hmm. Both in, uh, in uh, right from January, I started prelims test series. So that went on like a, what you call a weekly test series. So there were module wise tests. So all the subjects were getting revised periodically and that schedule was just being followed. And there are some other luck factors also that comes into picture when it, you crack it in the first attempt. So I think all those factors came in combination and worked in favor for me. What was the main reason you chose geography? You are from a technical background and you went to geography as an optional. Yeah, when I came to Trivandrum, I uh, asked people around for the resource persons available huh. and the subjects I got were Geography, Sociology and uh, Malayalam. So I was not uh, not very much into Malayalam at that time. I, 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 was, uh, stud I studied in KV, so I have not uh, uh, professionally trained in Malayalam writing and all. So Geography as a subject is somewhat easier for a, a student from science background to grasp. It is, there is more uh, logic, there is more, uh, there, it's a combination of both science and a bit of arts. Uh -huh. So uh, it's actually easier to study, but its uh, syllabus is vast, but we can keep that subject for, with us for two years. And that's what is that were needed for uh, civil service preparations. Also, we had very good uh, resource person in uh, Trivandrum. Nikhil sir was taking our classes for geography. We had good answer writing feedback. We could. Uh, get our answers checked at any time. So the major factor was resource person and yes, the subject's uh, interest and how it captured my interest. Okay. If you look at uh, the various uh, levels of the selection procedure, you yeah. know, in mains, uh, you have GSS and uh, optional. What do you think could have uh, earned you an edge apart from geography? So basically in GS papers, uh, I used to follow the schedule that we had along with our test series. So that was a weekly schedule of uh, each module test. Uh, in GS1 particularly, I think uh, a majority of the questions were from uh, geography mm -hmm. and uh, society. So that being the optional subject, there was some more of an overlap. So that I could manage a decent score. Uh, in GS2 and 3 papers, it's the normal answer writing sessions that we used to follow. I used to practice previous years answers, uh, write it again and again. And that gave me a, a, a very good understanding of how to attempt this, those type of questions. In GS4 particularly, the classes at uh, ILEARN by Abraham sir helped. So that gave us, it's a topic where boundaries are not clearly defined. It's a very generic topic, ethics and aptitude. So the class notes and the handouts gave a 
clear boundary on uh, what to study and what not. Mm -hmm. So that gave me a uh, what you call a framework. And the case studies, we had a regular answer writing practice sessions. So case studies also we used to practice, we used to give uh, structured case studies. So I think that made the difference in uh, GS papers, particularly in ethics. About the final stage of the process, the interview, so basically people say that you cannot do much about it. Uh, what does it take on to do? So for interview, I think we can do uh, many, we can prepare many portions, okay. particularly the DAF, detailed application form that we give before our mains examination. So basically, uh, in I learned, uh, my mentor was uh, Shina sir. What he used to do was, he used to take our uh, uh, DAF, a detailed application form, and he used to identify the possible questions from each uh, area, from place of birth, or domicile state, from our service preferences, and from our hobbies. And we used to prepare model answers and give the answers to him. He used to try to refine that. And that exchange helped actually, that one-on-one -on -one interaction actually helped in uh, framing good answers and being well aware of our even our own uh, biodata. So that interaction actually helped. Beyond that, uh, it was the mock interviews that I attended. It gives uh, the uh, idea of uh, what all issues that we need to expect. That questions might not repeat, but the point is the way we answer the questions and how we tackle the situation is what matters. So that atmosphere that we get in an interview room with a board, with a senior uh, or a learner board, that is something that is very helpful to maintain our calm and cool in the actual UPSC interview. So that was my strategy for interview. Uh, last of all, uh, is there anything you want to tell the you know upcoming aspirants, something, some uh, misconceptions or something like that? Yeah, I think the academic background that you have till now is not much of a determinant. You just need to have average academics, but beyond that, that doesn't make much difference. But uh, in spite of that, uh, beyond that, you have to put in uh, average maybe seven to eight hours of work. Be patient because the process itself is one and a half, two years. So the work that you put in, you might not get the results instantly. So with patience, you need to maintain a moderate level of preparation and take a test series that is regular and you take the feedback. So that gives you a correction mechanism and that should give you the ultimate, uh, I think, edge in mains examination is, uh, as well as an interview. Doing the mock will be the best strategy. Okay. Thanks a lot, Roger.